All right, so why does lucid dreaming make you tired? In this video, I'm gonna talk about why sometimes you'll feel like you're more tired when you wake up than when you first went to sleep. And there is actually a fairly decent reason for this. And if you stick around for the whole video, I'll explain exactly how it works, why you feel tired after certain lucid dreams, and what you can do about it, because you know, it is an option. You don't have to feel tired after lucid dreams. And in fact, when you're doing it right, you should feel more energized in the morning. So firstly, let me just start this by saying that when you're when you lucid dream, you're engaging consciously with your dreams, right? So you're actively using your imagination and you're using your creativity and your energy mentally to engage with the dream. But that shouldn't make you tired. That won't make you tired at all. In fact, what will really make you tired in a lucid dream is this. So with certain techniques like the wake back to bed, and in in fact with most lucid dreams, you have them uh, at a time after you've had six hours of sleep right but not your full eight to nine hours so if you if you have a lucid dream and then you wake up and stay awake after the lucid dream of course you're gonna feel tired because you haven't had your full eight to nine hours of sleep you've cut it short and the lucid dream has cut the cut your sleep short but what you should be doing is having the lucid dream and then going back to sleep and then finishing your sleep cycle because if you don't do that then you're only gonna be sleeping for six hours and obviously for most people six hours isn't enough and that's why you're gonna feel tired afterwards. So here's what you should do. You should have a lucid dream. If a lucid dream wakes you up and you need to you know, write it in your dream journal and that sort of stuff, that's fine, right? But then go back to sleep as soon as you've written the dream down. This is really important because if you don't do that, you're, you're not getting enough sleep. Another thing is that when you do the wake back to bed technique, that involves directly cutting your sleep in half because it involves deliberately waking up, then going back to sleep in order to have a lucid dream that's going to interrupt your sleep over the long term. So if you do wake back to bed techniques every night, obviously you're going to feel terrible because you're not getting enough sleep and you're, you're interrupting that sleep halfway through um, in order to just, just have slightly easier lucid dreams, which is fine. But if you're feeling tired, okay, if lucid dreaming is making you tired, then just stop the wake back to bed method and remember that when you have a lucid dream, you should always go back to bed afterwards, especially if you have a lucid dream early in the morning, like 4, 5, 6 a.m. For most of us, that's too early to wake up, so you're gonna to wanna to go back to sleep. Now, a few things will happen when you do this, okay? So firstly, when you go back to sleep at 5, 6 a.m., firstly, you're gonna find it very easy to fall back asleep because you're already tired. You've already slept for a large amount of time, so you're, it's gonna be very easy to go back into that state. And there are a number of things you can do with that. So you can either use that to lucid dream more. In, in fact, that's the wake back to bed technique. It involves just waking up and then going back to sleep. Or you can just use it to go back to sleep instantly, relax, and then wake up normally at eight, half eight, nine, whatever time you normally wake up. But it's really important that when, you, when you've had a lucid dream, you go back to sleep afterwards. But don't forget that you still need to write it in your dream journal. You shouldn't just wake up and then go back to sleep and then hope you'll remember it later because you won't. You need to make sure that as soon as you've had the lucid dream and you've woken up, you need to write it down. Write it in your dream journal, highlight the important bits as always, and then go back to sleep. If you want and if you're finding it difficult, you could always meditate in between to sort of separate the two states. I find that's really useful is, that, is to meditate in between two sections of a day. So for example, say if, you, say if you, you're studying something in your own time before you go to work, I would study the thing, then meditate to separate you know, your time from work time, and then go to work. And in the same way, when you get back from work or school or whatever, I would meditate as soon as I'm back home to separate the two states, right? Because when you're in one mindset of studying, work, school, whatever it is, you need to then change that mindset and separate them mentally when you come back home and you want to relax or learn other things or be social, for example, right? So meditation is a great way of separating different parts of the day but it's also a great way of separating in the morning. So like I've said, when you've woken up from a lucid dream, before going back to sleep, do a five minute meditation. And you'll firstly, you'll find it very easy to go back to sleep. You might even fall asleep during the meditation actually. Um, but secondly, it will separate the mental states. It will help you remember your dreams better. And it will set you up for the day as well. So hopefully this has been helpful guys. Please go ahead and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And it would help me grow the channel. Um, you'd also get loads of free updates, obviously, of new videos, and I will see you next time. Done.